Hello, darlings. Oh my gosh. Well, today I'm a little bit more emotional. I was kind of like reading and writing what I wanted to share about this today on this part two of deny if you are denying or are you deny your right to make money because I I want to share a story that it was uh, huge for me and Rob and my husband and you know the reason why um, you know I want to share is because I keep hearing women telling me I'd love to but I don't have the money um, so one of the pieces that I know is that our good girl would deny herself from making money if she feels guilty if she feels that she doesn't deserve it if she feels that it would make her greedy or selfish or bad and we talked about this before so um, and if you're here say hello I trust that I will be able to see your comments I haven't been and I don't know why but um, yeah I'm a little bit more emotional because it brought me back to when Rob and I started to dating um, he moved from Maine to New York City and he was coming out of a divorce um, and he sold his business and basically he had a certain amount of money that in his mind I mean he's a countryman he always lived in the country he never lived in the city he thought that in his mind oh Pamela yes okay great I can see the comments Eureka thank you for being here so glad you're here um, so yeah, so for me, um, so and, and anyway, so he had a certain amount of money and he felt actually pretty confident. Uh, he moved to the city uh, to be with me and he didn't realize that the money that he needed for um, where he lived, it didn't pan out as, as much. It wasn't, you know, that he spent basically, he spent more money in the city, obviously, because the, the the costs are higher and so he didn't quite plan that very well and you know so that's in one hand the other hand is that at that at this point I am in heaven I mean one of my biggest pieces was uh, I've always been a hard worker I always made money one way or another sometimes more sometimes less but I knew that if I worked I would make money it's not like I never really had a hang up of oh my god I'm never gonna have money because I knew that as as long as I worked I would make money and so I did so right now I'm working at a spa and I'm working like six day, days a week like a dog I was making decent money for me on my own I was saving some money so it was good uh, I wasn't making tons of money but you know for whatever at that time it was fine and Rob joined me um, and you know of course anyway so he was everything that I wanted and I I was really craving to find my soulmate I just got out of a very um, you know narcissistic uh, abusive relationship and I did a lot of the inner work I mean I've been doing this work now for 10 years when I met Rob and so um, I was I knew that I needed to do the work in order to shift that energy otherwise I would continue to attract narcissists and I did and that's when Rob walked into my life so now I mean this was exactly what I desired this was exactly like he was the exact man he had everything he checked all the boxes but in a good way and my good girl was in heaven and so was my wild woman my wild woman was Oh, so filled up uh, my good girl was seen loved heard for who I was and so she when that happens is when she gives free range to the wild woman and what happens when the wild woman has that freedom she makes a lot of money <laughs> because that is one of the great consequences of allowing the wild woman to come out right and here I was I started to make a lot of money um, I you know I was so excited I mean it's contagious right like you become magnetic and I was just going to work excited every day so filled up emotionally sexually physically uh, spiritually by Rob that I was like oh my god and I would tell my clients and they were happy for me and I would tell them okay so I'm reading this and I'm reading that you should read this and this is when my sort of my coaching started I didn't realize that I was actually coaching 
but I was, and then I took programs and et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, yeah. So now at this point I am thriving. Okay. In most of the areas of my life, most, not all, but most my inter my, my other personal relationships weren't that great, but in, but this particular one, money, work, career and love were like blooming and I loved it. But the problem is that Rob was not okay. He was not, he was, uh, he went from being his own boss, selling his business to finding a job in the city, sort of in the same field, but he had a boss that wasn't that great. So he w became an employee instead of his own boss. Uh, that right there for a man, obviously it's big. Uh, then he realized that what he thought he would be, he was smart about money, not so much because the money wasn't really paying off and he, you know, and he didn't have any more money. And then, you know, through being with me also, and I'm always like, what's next? What's next? My wild woman, your wild woman too. Your wild woman is what's next? What's my next evolution? What's my next level? That's what the wild woman is when she's ignited. And so mine was, it's like, okay, what's next? And we realized, and I started to realize that Rob had something with money, you know? And we realized that he had a, an IRS debt that he was kind of like avoiding, not looking at it. And I started to confront him to look at it. But here's what happened. And anyway, it was a big source of shame for him. And you know, it had to do with his own night of the soul, like his own journey. Now I've been on this journey for 10 years and he started his journey, right? And of course, when your wild woman is ignited, she becomes a catalyst for transformation for others as well. So now, you know, he was starting his journey and he wasn't making the money and he, we, it's like we were at different levels of evolution at the time and I started to feel guilty. I started to feel guilty that I was being so nourished by Rob's love and he wasn't. And, and I felt like, my good girl felt like I wasn't doing enough. And I grew up in a culture where women had to make men feel good. So now I'm feeling guilty and I'm thinking that I'm doing something wrong, that I should kind of wait for him to catch up. And my smartest idea at the time for my good girl was to stop myself from making money. Uh, that didn't really work out so great because what happened at that point, at that moment is I put my good, my wild woman back in the closet because in order for me to deny myself from making money, my wild woman couldn't be ignited. And so now I started to create and immediately what happened is that I started to create drama and my bitch came out big time because now I'm not feeling that same energy that we feel when our wild woman is alive or is out and free in the world and raw. And I started to resent Rob crazy, right? Like now I'm making him, I'm like, come on, dude, come on, catch up, catch up. When I didn't understand back then that he was going through his own journey and who am I to pressure him to rush a journey because none of our journeys can be rushed. However, you know, of course, you know, he was going through his own thing. And the reason why I was pressuring him is because I felt guilty for making the money. I felt guilty for making more money than him. If you can identify with any story, with any of part of the story, I love for you to let me know. I can see your comments now, so it's good. And if you're here, tell me where you're tuning in from because this was really intense in our relationship. I mean, it almost cost our relationship because what I, what I had to come, like today I look back and I understand, but what I had to understand was that I had to honor his journey as much as I needed to honor mine. I was waiting for Rob to give me permission to shine, to give me permission to make money by him making money. That's what I made myself to believe. Instead, what I needed to do, which is what I end up doing through some help from my coach 
is that I needed to give myself the permission to to own my right to abundance. And so my wild wow woman came out again, and this is when eventually I opened my own practice, my own my own coaching business, and I made my first six figures in that business. So I wanted to tell you this because I've been, like I shared, I've been talking to a lot of women who want to do my wild woman program and they're talking about, I don't, I'd love to, but I don't have the money. And I really want you to explore if there's a part of you who is denying yourself from making money, is denying yourself from your right to money and perhaps you give it away or you feel guilty to ask for it or you feel bad if you receive it, you're gonna be seen as greedy. Like what's the deal? Because I'm telling you, when you allow your wild woman to come out fully and unapologetically, everything lights up, everything lights up. And what happens is that as I allow my wild woman and I owned my, my you know, like my right to abundance, what happened is that Rob started to shift faster. It wasn't by me being the bitch putting the pressure on him. It was by me owning my right to abundance and not putting that pressure on him that allowed him to accelerate his growth. This is why it's so crucial that we allow the wild woman to come out. This is why we need to do this work of the wild woman because the good girl alone will sabotage herself. She doesn't know any better. She wants to give to everybody and she feels guilty or greedy if she owns her right to money. This is why you need your wild woman because if you want to live your purpose, if you want to create the amazing life that you want, if you want to call in your soulmate, if you want to sustain like like what happened, my good girl put my good my wild woman back in the closet. But if you want to sustain her and continue to create the life that you want, you're going to learn you you're going to need to learn how to do it. Okay? You're going to need to learn how to do that. And that's what I am here for, to help you, to guide you, to teach you not to do it like I did because your wild woman is unique to you. However, I know what, what it takes. I know how to guide you to the path that will allow your good girl to let the wild woman be free and together create this powerful force, that force of nature that you are, that energy, that passion that brings all of your desires into reality that magnetizes that manifests all of those desires in reality so darlings i just wanted to give you a message and I, i've never shared this story with you um i i really like when i think about it what could have happened not only for me but for my husband rob um i i had to pinch myself and thanks to this work and why i'm so passionate about this work is because he wouldn't be where he is and I wouldn't be where I am. And together we wouldn't be where we are as a couple. And I see so many women really like failing in their relationships and feeling like a failure, which is not a failure, but feeling like they don't know how to navigate not only their relationships, but their relationship with money, which has to do with the masculine and the wild woman loves money and loves men and loves the masculine. This is why if you want to, step into your power and be that empowered woman that you know you're meant to be you're going to have to heal your relationship with the masculine that's one of the biggest pieces that we're going to work on the wild woman program okay so if you haven't explored that already i invite you to do so wildwomanprogram.com uh we're coming on to the last bit of the early bird pricing so you don't want to miss it I invite you to take a look at that at it and check in with you with yourself don't listen to your good girl listen to your wild woman if you feel that tingling in your body and your heart starts beating up really fast that's a good sign that this is for you and if you want to find out more how to do that then let's have a talk with me and we'll figure the way because there is always a way and money comes when there is a purpose for it and money comes when you give yourself the permission and that right to abundance. Mwah. I'm sending you so much love. Have an amazing Friday and I'll talk to you very soon.